uh, really great MMO that I've been trying to enjoy myself. Tilt to see, he's been, he's, he's talking been about. A, he's had a rough patch of it lately. You yeah. Know, like, just a lot of life stuff coming on. So it's nice to see him mm -hmm. out and competing, maybe trying to stake his claim. Maybe Breakthrough 2019 is going to be his breakthrough, and we'll see him um, yeah. back amongst the power ranked uh, shortly. No, no, oh, we got the Zero Suit Samus coming out. Told you. No, uh, no Palutena did those. I mean, Tilt DC was the first to kind of claim the throne as the best oh. Palutena main here. So we'll see if he can come back. Like you said, it could be his breakthrough year, but it starts off here against Arma. Uh, Arma's, oh, yeah, I was going to say, Arma's tag is a reference to his main in uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Mm. And uh, going that Zero Suit, we'd be remiss to say that, you know, not talk about it. Zero Suit is kind of an enigma in the meta game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some people, I've been seeing some tweets, oh, she's clearly top five, quote Seagull, or, oh, you know, uh, Zero Suit sucks, quote Mars, kind of deal. <laughs> I feel like that's a top player strat, right? They tell you a character sucks because they don't want Nintendo to nerf it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's, it's also a possibility that, you know, ZSS is one of those characters that I still feel that is back back at the same place, more or less, mm -hmm. a spot or two difference, high or low may it be, of where she was in Smash 4. In yeah. Smash 4, she was kind of a top tier, like top 10. I do see her possibly top 15, top 20 in Smash Ultimate. She's kind of still a great high tier, has a lot of good toolkits. The thing about ZSS is you just can't pick her up and expect to master her. She's kind of a character that does require execution and great with punishing. I want to talk about execution, man. He knows he's he's going to see the fact that Tilt is going for those nares on the shield. They're not going to be that safe if Arma pulls up that up at the right time. Yeah, just definitely executing and maybe catching TLTC on sleeping just a little bit. Yeah. That's you can't, as, as, as bad as shields are in this game, sometimes you just can't bang on Zero Suit Shield like it's your job because yeah, that's a recipe for getting boosted. Yeah, yeah. that is true. <laughs> There you grab. Go. Uh, down air and gets mm -hmm. a grab. Does a back throw. Interesting. Usually you want to see that uh, down, down throw follow-ups, but mm -hmm. you know, TLTC probably seeing the percentage and saying you can't get too much out of it. Yeah. Why don't we just play positioning instead? That is good. And that's something that uh, you know one of these players do tend to evaluate, right? What's better, go through a down throw raw bear and if it's not going to connect or get better stage positioning in the corner carry? Those are two things you kind of have to really evaluate. Percents or the stage to get edge guards. Alright, so far though, Arma, high percent. He's kind of staying away from Z from Tom, but unfortunately pulls out the boost kick long way and Tilt Z with the punish immediately. Yeah, baited that out. Actually got him with a cross up aerial on shield instead. Hey, you know, if they're if you're saying that I just want to bang their shield, might as well mix it up. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. Uh, Arma dropping that one. He was doing so good. Yeah, he was playing him even and now it's no longer even. And you definitely don't want to give TLTC a lead because this kind of stuff happens. You Already I, 34 unanswered. That is true, man. Sometimes you didn't want to get Palutena a lead. Look, and I like the fact that TLTC kind of set himself up to be where the flip kick was going to be landing so he get the punish right away on the landing. That's good for any player to understand. Don't punish the initial move itself. Punish the landing. And TLTC now in firm control after what was a close match. Mm -hmm. Arma trying to battle back in, but it might be one of those situations where if your Arma just kind of understanding, well, I'm not going to SD every game, I hope. If not, I'm going to be losing the set. Maybe it's just uh, <laughs> gather some info, start getting ready for game two. Right. You got to do a little bit of that download that Zare will be able to poke through and give Arma some space to come back on the stage and explore, um, escape the explosive flame. Up B, that might actually do it. Yep. Palutena does have that weight class, but she will die to that. And it's not like TLTC is doing anything, you know, too crazy that we're used to seeing from the Palutena. He's actually kind of playing a little tentative if I, yeah. you know, but he still has the lead because of the SD, so. Every 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 player plays a certain character a certain way to their own style, and I feel like the way that TLTC is playing is kind of very, like, slow-paced, breed-based. I want to play a little bit more mm. cautious here. I do want to go for Nair, but I'm not going to use it. Some, uh, some it might be like old school uh, Smash 4 still yeah. lingering in his mentality a little bit. He's got to remember that this character got pretty good pretty quickly. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Oh, great DI coming out from Arm, and he waits for the explosive flame to end, but unfortunately, he was a little too low for that. I would have loved to have seen him go for the boost kick, mm -hmm. so then you can use the up B, get a little bit more height, mm -hmm. but I understand that he might have been more scared to get hit by the down air right. afterwards. So I, I do respect that option here, but sometimes the survivability might have been the better call. All right, TLTC kind of stealing that first game, a little laugh. Arma stealing right into it, a little a little down on his yeah. on, on his body language, but I think he was able to battle right back. If you're him, you have to remember pretty much the entire match you were winning, except for the two seconds where you're SD, right? Yeah, right. It's only it's only a W if you keep it in your mind. The W is on the board, not in your mind. So keep your head in the game and understand. Let's not get tunnel vision. The, what's important itself is the fight, and so far Arma was doing a good job at that. Yeah. If you're TLTC, the only thing you gotta really clean up in this situation is stop hitting Zero Suit's shield where they can boost kick you. Oh yeah, that is very true. <laughs> Made that adaptation. So let's see, let's see what these two end up doing in terms of adaptation. 
Arma maybe just having to stick to the game plan. TLTC, one of those rare instances where I'd be advocating, even though you won the game, you got some things you got to change if you want to hold on and win it. Yeah. Nice. Good opportunity to understand Palatine. I'm going to be going for that aerial. Going for that jump to recover. Doesn't want to get back to the ledge. Being edge guarded by ZSS can be pretty daunting because you got that down smash, the flip kick to cover that roll. So many options. You have to be careful, like I said. You got the flip kick and a great up smash immediately. Not going to be such a combo, but good percent. Yeah, almost uh, caught TLTC off guard. Maybe Armor has a little more time to put out an option and try to, you know, uh, charge a down smash instead in that mm -hmm. situation or something like that. Because it took a long time for TLTC to pop out. <laughs> almost enough for the up smash oh. almost missed. Speaking of banging on shields with aerials and boost kicks. I mean, he was putting a pelt in a shield there, but <laughs> <laughs> Arma looking not too far from it. All right, here we go. They're engaged in neutral. Both of them trying to jockey for position in order to take the win. Because both these characters are they at that. Get them off stage and get that edge guard. And he catches Teal to see going for that grab. He kind of reels back in his scene and understands, like, hold on, man. Arma has the edge against me yet, yet again. Yeah, they changed that for Smash 4, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that they kind of come came down to like a toolkit of like kind of how ZSS was back in Smash 4 and Smash Brawl a little bit, despite the fact that she doesn't have items anymore. Back it up, stage positioning, like you said, right? That's kind of more important at this point. Interesting situation. He went for explosive flame to edge guard, but trying to cover the ledge with it instead. I think he'd be probably better off just going off after her and uh, playing the edge guard situation. Here's a back throw. Yeah. Not enough to kill them. Trying oh. to put in just a couple pummels to make it possible. Nice, he's able to actually get in that kick to stop in until he's even probably going for a back air and reading the landing. No fumbles on that one. Yeah, back throw is going to be a little stale at nice. this point. But dash attack, oh, not enough to kill either. TLTC probably a little frustrated now. Yeah. That's three kill options. Up throw, that was not, not going to do it. Ar Ar <laughs> I felt like Arma was ready for that kind of level of DI that he might be wanting something for unorthodox. Mm -hmm. Arma having been used DSS a couple times himself, and that dash attack finally does it at that percent of the ledge. Yeah, you know, if, uh, the first the first attempt doesn't succeed and the second or third attempt, might as well go for the fourth one, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, it's true what they say, like, the moves still recycle themselves, yeah. right? Like, eventually one of the moves will be unstale, and then it will kill at the right percent. Nice, Arma looking for you against spacing. I do like the Nair here. Yeah, just playing elusive here on Final Destination. A lot of room to run for Zero Suit and using it uh, as, huge, as much advantage as he can. But TLTC cutting it off, being a giant wall. Oh, Big no. Got him with the late hits, and unfortunately, no, not, doesn't get that last uh, big knockback hit. Kind of yeah. confused Arma just a little bit under the stage. I felt like he was trying to preemptively go for a, a stage tech immediately, knowing that that Nair might have sent him towards the yeah. stage, and he buffered that at the wrong time. Tries to go for a boost kick out of the shield. It's not going to do anything but give him more percent to himself. It's such a big punish here. He ate 42%. And now TLTC looking just a little bit more refined. But uh, Arma having some miscues as well, so and that so that's the recipe to having TLTC up by a few nice. stock, or by almost uh, stock lead and percentage for sure. Oh, uh, weird I, 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 res I respect that option because he probably felt that TLTC might have been going for an option that, where he was going to be there. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he TLTC came a little bit later than Arma anticipated. And yeah, now it's 100 percent on that last stock. Very firmly in the driver's seat, TLTC doing everything he can just to close it out. He gets the berry, yeah. can he get the upbeat? Oh, and unfortunately, he missed. He, he missed. He got the grounded hitbox. Oh my <laughs> god, Sakurai. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, the grounded hitbox on uh, Boost Kick, it's terrible. Yeah, I know. If you do it right, the first aerial hitbox is a horizontal spacing, but the grounded one, I don't know what happened in development. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody forgot to put it in there, yeah, right? They forgot to turn that hitbox on. Arma, he sees the high percent on TLTZ. He kind of wants to space him out and maybe get the stock here. Good opportunity to understand up to a little bit faster than it was to Smash 4. Still got that bad, bad end lag. Arma kind of comes from a history of playing other FGC games, so he's very understanding of the plus and the negative frames on Shield, uh -huh. and as well as understanding the end lag of some moves. And he's got to make some big plays, maybe get, you know, uh, TLTC up 20 more damage so you get a neutral air to flip kick, something like that. You just kind of right. grab it out of the hat. But. Uh, a little bit of pressure coming here from Armin. He's kind of put there here. It is. the corner. He oh almost executes as it, but he misses the mark. Playing to the win condition. That was almost it. Another back air. I like that opportunity here. Armin does not waste it here. Yeah, this could be it. For it. Yeah, he is. Looking for the spacing. There's a Zare. And TLTC has his hands full now. It was once really comfortable, making him a little nervous. Here, I like it. He has to go low, and oh, he, he makes the recovery. Good forward tilt. Not wasting time, but he misses that paralyzer. Yeah, a little spaghetti from TLTC he had all day to punish. I, I, he still, uh, he almost held the right DI, but he felt that Arma was looking to space himself a little bit, and he had so much pressure 
that if he committed to a roll, Teal TZ could have just drifted into that roll and hit him with the